in HTML, you probably know that you put an element within an element, and then within that element, you put another element, and so on and so forth. So you get a tree structure. In CSS, we usually don't do that, but in less and sus, we can do that. So you can write code that is more in coherence with the HTML file. Um, so, for example, you can write like this, you can have a nav, and then within that nav you put a ul, and then within that you also put an li, and then maybe you put the a within the li. So, then you have a CSS code that, or a sus code or less code that looks more similar to your HTML file. And you can actually also reference the parent, um, and here they use the same syntax. Um, they use the ampersand. So if you write like this, A, and then set the color to blue, and then you can write uh, the ampersand colon hover. Uh, then you set the hover state for the A tag, and then you can change the color there, for example. Um, then it might be tempting to kind of write HTML, and then you write all the element, but then you will get a fairly complex and super big CSS file. So the rule of thumb says that never nest more than four levels. Usually try to keep it to two or maybe three, um, because otherwise you will get a really huge CSS file. Because what happens is that it will, when it transcodes the CSS file um, or into a CSS file, you will have all these nested after each other, so you get super complex uh, rules. So you need maybe to rethink either your HTML or your CSS structure to do that. Uh, what you can also do is that you can actually nest properties also. For example, you can write A, and then within that one you say font colon, and then you say size and weight, and that will be the same as writing font dash size, font dash weight. So you can nest properties that have kind of the first uh, word the same. Um, so let's try to work with this a little bit. So let's create a basic menu structure in the HTML file. And uh, you should have, of course, a nav and then a common structure is to use an unordered list. And then with a couple of list items, and then you have anchors in that uh, with some menu items. And then we should fix the uh, add the code here to the sas file. And then in the end, when you have written this one, try to make the font size 1.4 rems and make the list item get some kind of effect when you hover over them. So set the accent color as the background color on hover. So. Let's try this one. Um, and if you haven't done that by now, then remember, pause the video and try to do it yourself and then continue.